a life built on a solid foundation. Inviting you to spend your five minutes in listening, meditating, and praying on the Word of God as you begin your day. Blessing and peace to you and all your family members. May the Lord Jesus bless you with love and peace. September 10th, 2022, Saturday, 23rd week of the Ordinary Time. Prepare your minds and hearts as you listen to the Gospel. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 6, verses 43 to 49. For no good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit. For each tree is known by its own fruit. For figs are not gathered from thorns, nor are grapes picked from a bramble bush. The good man out of the good treasure of his heart produces good. And the evil man out of his evil treasure produces evil. For out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I tell you? Every one who comes to me and hears my words and does them, I will show you what he is like. He is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid the foundation upon rock. And when a flood arose, the stream broke against that house and could not shake it, because it had been well built. But he who hears and does not do them is like a man who built a house on the ground without a foundation, against which the stream broke, and immediately it fell, and the ruin of that house was great. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray and meditate on this Gospel passage. Why does Jesus set figs and grapes over against thorns and brambles? The fig tree was the favorite of all trees for the people of Palestine. It symbolized fertility, peace, and prosperity. Grapes, likewise, produced wine, the symbol of joy. Thorns and brambles were only good for burning as fuel for the fire. There's a proverbial saying that you know a tree by its fruit. Likewise a person will produce good or bad fruit depending on what is sown in the heart. Charles Reed said, Sow an act and you reap a habit. Sow a habit and you reap a character. Sow a character and you reap a destiny. Character, like fruit, doesn't grow overnight. It takes a lifetime. Our character is revealed in the choices we make. Jesus prefaced his story with a warning. We may fool other people with our speech and gestures, but God cannot be deceived. He sees the heart as it truly is, with its motives, intentions, desires, and choices. There is only one way in which a person's sincerity can be proved, and that is by one's practice. Fine words can never replace good deeds. Our character is revealed in the choices we make, especially when we are tested. Do you cheat on an exam or on your income taxes, especially when it will cost you? Do you lie or cover up when disclosing the truth will cause you injury or embarrassment? A true person is honest and reliable before God, themselves, and their neighbor. 
their word can be counted on. What foundation is your life built upon? Prayer Lord Jesus, you are the sure foundation and source of life and strength for us. Give me wisdom and strength to live according to your truth and to reject every false way. May I be a doer of your word and not a hearer only. Amen.